Cleanup continues in Concord, Massachusetts after an EF1 tornado ripped through the town at 3 this morning. Good evening everyone, I'm Jeff Kramer. Dave has the night off. Residents were woken up by whipping winds and cracking tree limbs. Meteorologists with the National Weather Service described the tornado as having estimated wind speeds of 100 miles per hour. It lasted for a half mile and was about 400 yards wide. For people in western Massachusetts, the tornado hitting so close to home is a wake-up call for many. Tonight we're looking at the best way to give your family ample warning in case a tornado strikes again. Western Mass News reporter Sina Sleem is live in East Long Meadow. And Sina, how can we be one step ahead of these natural disasters? Good evening, Jeff. Well, nowadays everyone has a phone, so why not use your phone as a safety device? Well, the great thing about it, too, is that even if you're sleeping, you can still get alerts. I've never heard anything that loud in my whole life. Um, and my Everyone's on vacation, so it's just me at home. So um, it was really scary. A tornado rips through several homes in Concord at 3 o'clock in the morning. And for those in Western Mass, we aren't strangers to this type of natural disaster. Everybody who lives here remembers a few years ago when we had the tornado and how devastating that was. And for a lot of us, it caught us by surprise. Go Geeks owner Stan Prager says luckily there are many apps you can download on your cell phone so you can be aware of storms in advance. One favorite, the Red Cross official tornado app. But with this app, if you had that, you'd get an alert on your phone and it would let you know where the tornado is and where it's expected to hit and where to go for safety. And if you're sleeping, the app also includes a high-pitched siren and tornado a warning alert signal that goes off when a warning is issued for your area. Another free app that could better prepare you is NOAA. Any kind of weather anomaly that could potentially threaten your life or threaten your property, you're going to get a warning from NOAA. So that's another good app to have that's also free. He says technology has come a long way, and in this instance, it could be the difference between life and death. I think the technology that gives us this kind of warning, I mean, if you think about how many lives could be saved, since everyone pretty much has a smartphone today. As for resident Kendall Baldwin, he says the app would certainly make him feel safer. I think it's a great idea to keep uh, people aware of uh, what's going on at all times of the day, all times of the night, because you never know what can, uh, what can happen, with, what Mother Nature can, uh, can bring to you. For first warning coverage, you can also download our app, that's Western Mass News, and we will give you updates and alerts if there's any severe weather or issue or a tornado alert. You can also get live coverage of any severe weather, so you make so make sure to download that tonight. Live in East Longmeadow, I'm Cena Slane for Western Mass News. Back to you, Jeff.